Hey, how's it going? Welcome to episode 150 of the duo group Iron Man. In the last video, I did a bunch of chambers and I got three purples. Dex number eight, arcane number four, dex number nine. So it's it's a great time. I did, however, finally manage to get Zenite number four in the last video at around 2,500 demonics KC to finish our first Zenite set. Here's a look at the collection log for demonics, and then here is the collection log for chambers. So currently, Spook Dog's Discord is still doing the bingo. There's I think a bit over three days left in the bingo, and. I think I'm just going to keep on doing chambers. If you don't know what I'm talking about with the bingo, then you could check out the intro to two videos ago, episode 148, to see what that's all about. But ideally, I would need to get two more purples to get more points for the team. And given my track record of 16 purples and under 7 million points, that probably means that I'm going to go extremely, extremely dry, either that or I'm just going to continue to get lucky. It's 50-50, right? Either it happens or it doesn't. So I'm starting off the video at 229 chambers, KC, and let's get into the rating. Good luck. Good Nothing. Luck. Elite right. clue moment. No bucket. I'm reporting this to Mod Mark. Mod Donald. Mod Mark Donald's had a farm. E O E O C. <laughs> Wait, Mokip, is there actually any reason why you spam magic in view, or is it just why not kind of thing? It increases your damage for uh, P3 Vuln. <laughs> oh, does it actually? No, it's for I don't magic know if you're XP. memeing me right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, ju it's just magic XP. Yeah, I, I, I guess. Memeing? What is memeing? Oh. What happened? Uh, no! That's so <laughs> criminal. I got a purple! Oh, oh. Let's go! Uh, okay, let's see it. Good luck. Oh. Of course. I've gotten seven chambers purples during bingo and six of them have been prayer scrolls. That's insane. 17 drops now in 7.79 .7 million points. That is arcane number five. Let's open up the collection log. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I've come to expect these. Will I get the first ever back-to-back -back in existence. Game's so unfair. Oh, I just got 40 mil hit points XP. <laughs> For shamans, there's ways to set up safe spots, which I've known about like forever, but I guess I've just kind of been too lazy to show them. But there's a bunch of different spots where you can lure them to and then you go to a certain tile and then they just simply won't attack or jump or anything. You get them to jump to a tile that would sort of trap them from being able to move forward to attack you. And the trick here is to get stuck behind an obstacle so that you can move out of its attack range but still be able to attack it. So you do need a weapon with a long attack range like a crossbow or a bofa. The blowpipe will not work. 260 chambers KC, and with that, I am calling it a night. I've done 19 raids today, which is not normal for a normal person to do, but luckily, thankfully, since my job is making YouTube videos, it allows me to do this many raids in one day. Honestly, thank God this is my job because I know that my hungry ass cannot work somewhere like in fast food or as a gynecologist. By the way, all these clips of the raids loots, I've made them all exactly one second. But just keep in mind that each of these times that you see that one second of my raids loot, just know that each one of those is the product of like 40 plus minutes spent raiding. Arguably, it's even more time spent because the time that was once spent crafting potions and other supplies that I bring into the raid. Anyways, as of the time of these raids that you're seeing on screen, it's about 24 hours before the bingo ends, which means I've got to wrap up the loose ends. And one of those ends is the fact that I'm at seven purples for the bingo, but I need to be at an even number because it goes by multiples of two for the tile. So I'm going to spend this last day going hard, grinding out chambers to try and get one last purple before the end. One other thing though that I have to finish up with is going for the Bryophytus Essence. I've been AFKing every night with my cannon collecting mossy keys, 
and I've got to use them up before the end of bingo to at least try for the essence because that was the whole point of trying to collect these ASAP. A champion scroll falls to the ground as you slay your opponent. That is my second giant champion scroll. Although for some reason the collection log doesn't show when you have multiple of them. I thought it did. Hmm. I'll probably just be passively going for this cape over time. I'm at 5,700 moss giants at the moment. There's the two scrolls. I wanted to wait to get one more key just because that one last key would put me at 50 KC, even though I've already used up one key, so it actually put me at 49 keys if I got one more, but having 50 KC would be cooler. So uh, one more key. Wait a second. I don't have to wait to get one more mossy key if I want to get 50 KC because the boss itself drops mossy keys, which means there does exist a theoretical scenario where if you have one mossy key, you could just keep on killing Bryophyta indefinitely if you roll that one in 16 over and over. So there is some parallel universe where someone has an infinite amount of Bryophyta KC just from getting one mossy key. And this could be that universe, which we'll find out very soon if that's the case. Let's see that stack of mossy keys, 48 of them. You do get beginner clues each time you kill uh, Bryophyta. It's a guaranteed drop but I'm not gonna be doing them because that would add a lot of time because I have to run back to Bryophyta every time and it's a bit of a run to get back there. And it's like, it's just beginner clues. I'll eventually get that, uh, was it the 600 or whatever for the explore mode? Yeah, 600. If you don't have them in your bank, you're almost guaranteed to get one when you're doing a birdhouse run or anytime you go skilling for five minutes. They're so easy to come by. I'm not going to waste the rest of the bingo time worrying about them. Here's the current Bryophyta log. Um, <laughs> there's not much to see here. The Bryophyta's essence is a one out of 118. So statistically, I'm probably not going to be getting the drop from the amount of keys I have. There are combat achievements for Bryophyta. I have four out of seven of them, so I will make sure to get these done too. They say everything in the game is 50-50. Either you get it or you don't, which means it should be a one out of two drop. And if this is KC number two, then that means, no, that was a joke, dude. That was out. <laughs> it's actually one out of two, bro. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to go for the combat tasks as well. That's hilarious. The thing is though, like I know I got all those keys all these keys, but if I didn't get that many, then I wouldn't have gotten it. If I only went for two keys, then I wouldn't have gotten the drop because that's just how the game works. The game knows. <laughs> that's so funny. Man, this is this is giving me throwback vibes, man. <laughs> me and Braille fight have a great history. Yay, we did it. Our first drop from the first bot. <gasps> No way! For this task, Bryophyta has to die of either poison or venom, and if you have the blowpipe plus the Serp Helm combo, it has a guaranteed venom chance, so now I just wait. Wait, I want to see, can the boss die if the growthlings are alive? Because you're not supposed to be able to damage the boss if the- th Okay, I guess that answers my question. <laughs> Do these guys just stay alive then? Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> they don't die with the boss. This will be 5kc and the last Bryophyta combat task. And the mossy key, of course. There's two more things that are green. The combat achievements for Bryophyta and the collection log is also green for Bryophyta. Ah, long grind finally has come to an end. I can finally play the game again. Let's go over the numbers for the Moss Giant. So I got 6150 KC, 49 keys from them, which comes out to an average of, for me at least, it was about 125 KC per key. And then I wrote some stuff down here too. So uh, I got 500 KC per hour. I used three cannonballs per KC which means it was about 1500 cannonballs used per hour. I put question mark all this stuff is kind of question mark because I wasn't tracking it exactly and I would walk away from the computer for some time and then come back after making food or whatever so the XP tracker was still going. But at 500 KC per hour with the Bone Crusher that is 7.5k prayer XP per hour and that means I spent a bit over 12 hours cannoning moss giants. Cool, let's deposit all this in the bank. Okay, I can't deposit in the bank. I don't want to talk about it. Let's take out a battle staff and then we're going to combine the essence with the staff. And now 
I have the Bryophytus staff. You know how the elemental staffs are like runes that you can equip? This is the same thing but with nature runes. It's like equipable nature runes except it's not unlimited because you actually have to charge it yourself or you fill it up with nature runes. But it does have the perk that when you cast a spell that requires nature runes, there's a 1 out of 15 chance that it doesn't consume a charge or nature rune. Right now a nature rune costs 95 GP on the Grand Exchange, but let's just even go by Iron Man numbers. We'll say 180 GP per nature rune. So if you have a 1 in 15 chance of saving a nature rune, then that means on average per cast, like if you're alking, you would save 12 GP per cast. Hmm, so I could alk 10,000 items and save 120k or do one corrupt gauntlet and make way more than that in GP and then buy the nature runes. It's not exactly useful for us at this stage, but it is useful because you do need this item for a clue step, a master clue step to be specific. And I have had to drop that master clue step multiple times, which was kind of annoying. This is untradeable if you charge it up with runes, so I'm not going to charge it. There's not really a point to because I don't think I'd really use it anyways, even uh, if I did want to just charge it up. So I'm going to put this in the group storage. And whenever one of us gets the clue step for this, we'll have it all ready to go. And with that, the Bryophyta Saga is done and I can go back to raiding and try desperately to get one more purple before the bingo ends in... when this reaches zero again, it's 725 UTC at the moment. Okay, so I have until 5 p.m. my time tomorrow. Now that all the people who were taking a shot every time I said bingo aren't here, the rest of you get to see the final conclusion of the bingo. This was the last day, and like I said I would, I spent all day raiding, which is what you're seeing with the clips on screen. I'm really glad I participated in this though, because we made lots of good memories, memes, and most importantly, friends along the way. And after 10 days, I'm kind of sad that it's over, but it's also kind of relieving because I'm not going to have that feeling that I constantly need to spend as much time on the game as possible. I mean, I'll probably spend the same amount of time online anyways, but it's nice to not have that pressure making me feel like I have to. And it's not like anyone's telling me to go super hard for the bingo because it's genuinely not like that. It's just a, a fun competition or a good motivation between a group of friends. It's more of like the voice in the back of my head telling me I have to give it my all which probably isn't the healthiest thing, but hey. With the bingo being over, that also means I can go back to doing whatever I want and not having that feeling like I'm locked down to whatever's on the scoreboard. It's also not really as sad because it's not like we're all parting ways forever after the bingo. We can literally just hang out together anytime on Discord. But there's definitely a feeling of camaraderie that's amplified by having a friendly competition. A sort of in the moment heightened sense of excitement. But yeah, shout out to Sophie and the rest of the admins and captains that put this together. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun at least. I think everyone else had a lot of fun. And heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Freak yeah. Let's go. Let's go on to the final clips of the bingo. I hope you enjoy the rest of this stuff. R3 would never have a R3. wacky name. Demi Boss Sorty McSword Face. Is that. Wait, no, it's not a. That's an example. Oh, that is that. a thing. Um, yeah, Sorty McSword Face <laughs> is a thing. Dro drop my Bossy McBoss face. <laughs> <laughs> What do you call a substitute Italian chef? Sus. <laughs> Impasta. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have one more chance to get the purple. Oh, it's cutting it so close. My last raid for the bingo. The buzzer beater. <laughs> Please. Good. Oh, oh, this game oh, fucking sucks. <laughs> No, so no, unfair. Let's get you a little over prepared for that historian. <laughs> you never know what's going to come up. <laughs> it's a tough boss. I think my favorite thing is the magic and pure. <laughs> Last chance for a bucket. Oh, so unfair. We can have a countdown for the end of bingo. Five, four. Oh, okay, it switched. You're late. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where's the team picture at? Uh, did you make the well, should be Remington because that's the name oh, of the Oh yeah, it'll be Re yeah, Remington House Ball. <laughs> I have a gift for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the real horses with the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Imagine a random person just coming by. What are you doing? Just horsing around. <laughs> I'm gonna hide behind the tree so I can get a, a shot of with a detached camera. Craig 38.
The final results of the bingo are in. Our team, the Remington Horse Party, got second place. There is a prize pool of GP. I'm not exactly sure what it's at. I don't particularly care about it, but I mean, of course, I'll gladly still take the money on my main. Well, the bingo is over. I am back to doing my own thing. I haven't been fishing in over 10 days now, or I guess I was cooking, I think, before the bingo because I already fished the 100,000 crown bonds, but I just felt like coming here to fish. I've just been fishing here the last few hours as I've been editing this video together. And I wanted to show you, let's take a look at the raids, collection log, chambers of Zurich. At the start of the bingo, I was at 163 KC and now I'm at 289. So I've done 126 chambers throughout the bingo, which was 10 days. I didn't just do chambers the whole time. Like I did the master wand and I did a variety of other activities. But even with all that taken into account, it's still an average of over 12 chambers per day. I've got to say, I think I'm hooked. I think I'm addicted to doing solo chambers. It's just, I'll finish a raid and I'll be like, dang, I didn't get a purple. Let me go back in and try to get a purple this time. And I just keep going. I keep saying that every time I stay up late at night, just saying one more, one more. Uh, during the bingo, I got seven purples. It was one buckler... I think two arcanes and four dexes. Yeah, I just went back to check uh, in my submissions channel that that is in fact what it was. I got a lot of purples, not the best variety of purples, but considering my KC, it's still a pretty decent variety. Just an absurd amount of scrolls though, 14 out of my 17 drop, seven scrolls. I'll just spend another full day raiding. We'll get to 300 KC and then, yeah, I'll put, that'll be the title of the video, something to do with uh, getting 300 chambers KC, and then we'll uh, show all the loot and stuff then. I don't know why, but this wording to me is really funny. The poll 79 poll, couldn't they have just said poll 79 is out? I don't know, <laughs> the pull 79 pull. It's a purple, another purple. <sighs> okay, I'm already mentally prepared for the disappointment. <gasps> Dude, <gasps> that's amazing. Oh. That's so good. <laughs> oh, the first piece of Ancestral. Best one I could ask for too. I seriously thought in my head that like my first piece of Ancestral would be the hat, which is not <laughs> very good. But nope, we got the best piece of Ancestral first. If you didn't know, Ancestral is the best mage gear in the game. So I just unlocked the best mage top. I'll put the stat comparisons up on screen so you can compare the Aram's top to Ancestral top to see the upgrade that I made. It's plus five more magic accuracy. It does have a little bit less defense, but it has plus 2% magic damage, which is really what's important. It's a bit lighter too, 4.5 kilograms versus 2.7 kilograms. It's not a big deal, but it's a little bit relevant for doing solo chambers. To be fair, my last purple, which I got earlier in this video, was at 7.79 million points. So it has been about 1.4 million points since the last purple. So I was getting close to double the drop rate since my last one. Now the question is, do I actually deserve to have gotten this ancestral top? The answer is no, but also yes. No, because I have an insane amount of purples for my amount of points, but also kind of yes, because the drop rate to get a specific piece of Ancestral, I think is 20 million points. And if there's three pieces of Ancestral, then to get any piece, I, that'd be what, like 6.66 repeating points, I think, uh, to get any piece of Ancestral. And I'm almost one and a half times that rate, so. The way I'm calculating this, by the way, is that the average points to hit the unique drop table is about 867k. So I take 867,600 and divide it by the rate of uh, rolling ancestral when you hit the table, which is one out of 23. So divide 867k, divide by one out of 23, and you get 20 million. I already know the answer, but just for fun, we can do it for uh, the Twisted Bow, one out of 34.5. So we'll just switch this to 34.5, and it's about 30 million points. That is the drop rate for getting a specific mega rare. 
out of these three. Okay, well that's freaking epic. Uh, 298 KC, I'm gonna do two more raids for this video. Maybe we'll get the back to back. And of course, now that I have the ancestral top, I'm obligated to make the joke, getting head from your grandma, call that ancestral top. New max mage hit at Ulm is 46. So that is a plus one with this upgrade. I was gonna make a clip saying, hey, with this new mage upgrade, it's gonna make it slightly less likely that I'm gonna get a P3 Ulm reset or even worse, a double reset because now I have more accuracy and plus one damage. But as you can see, this uh, isn't exactly the best example of <laughs> making a clip to say that because it's cutting it a little bit close. There's about a one in 26 chance that this will be the first back-to-back -back purple the series. It is not, it is white. Okay, one more raid. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's <laughs> that's my second Onyx I've gotten from Tecton before. Yeah, that was a, a tile for the bingo to get an Onyx, which it could be a cut Onyx too from Tecton. So that's <laughs> just a couple days too late or one day too late, unlucky. And this is KC number 300. Nice, cool. Last raid of the video, let's grab that loot. And speaking of loot, here is the loot from 300 Chambers of Zeric. Is a GE value of 733 mil, or at least as an Iron Man, that is a lot of juicy Iron Man supplies. So feel free to pause here if you want to see everything I got. We'll take one more look at the collection log. I'm happy with this now. I'm very happy with how this looks. I might just continue on raiding in the next video because I'm having fun here. It's, it's nice when you get purples. Um, but with that, make sure to check out my Duo Teammate Spook Dogs channel linked below in every video description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again next time.